March 12th. This is the subcommittee of the, what do we call it now? What's the Public <laughs> Works Advisory Commission? The, the what? Public, Public Works Advisory Commission. Public Works Advisory Commission. Oh, right. Um, so John, you're taking notes. I'll leave the meeting. And uh, has everyone had a chance to go over our minutes from the last meeting a month ago? No, but I wasn't here anyway, so. Okay. Uh, Matt, minutes? Did you have a chance to go over them? I actually have, have not. All right. So, my apologies. That's okay. They were good minutes. Uh, well, except but they didn't oh. have um, the volunteer team. People had raised their hands, and somehow um, Susan had pointed out that that those lists, those names didn't get put down. So we're just we didn't capture some day. names, so we yeah. just have to do it. Do it again. Okay. John does such a good job. We're not. We're yes. No, yes. No pressure, pressure on you. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, so any changes to the minutes? Dave, Roger, were you, you weren't here last time, were you? No. Yeah. <coughs> no changes. No changes from Ro. Uh, uh, is there a motion to accept the minutes? So moved. Second. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matthew, let us know if you have any other changes. Yes, as, as of right now, they're accepted as written. Uh, recenter update. I think we, that's your floor. Peter? Uh, well, we don't have to go, yeah, we can push the logo, logo piece down. Yeah, yeah, no, no, um, recenter yeah, update. Let's, and let's talk about opening timeline, right. if it's okay with everybody. Yes. Um, it's fast approaching, and with one of our stalwart volunteers um, going away for a few weeks, we're, um, I I'm a little panicked, <laughs> but I'm happy that he's going and getting to spend time with his daughter, that's great. <laughs> so what I did was I started looking at all the different things that we have coming up pertaining to the opening of the room center. Um, so going from the, the, the D-Day, backwards. We've got the public opening on the Saturday following Earth Day. We've got um, a press conference, we're calling it, on the preceding Wednesday, which is Earth Day. This is going to be for city employees and press to come and check it out, take pictures, whatever. That's on a Wednesday. Then um, the previous Saturday, <coughs> um, we are calling a work day, and we'd like all hands on deck if if at all possible, so please mark your calendars if you're able to make it that day. We're going to be uh, potentially training volunteers, although we might train volunteers beforehand. We're going to be setting things up, making sure things are um, attractive, signage, stuff like that. The City Council presentation is the 16th of April. Uh, WHMP is going to be the 15th. Um, Mac and I are going to be going to Bob, Bill Newman, Bill, and Bill Newman. and that's between um, nine and ten. Uh huh. Um, on the fourteenth, Ward Four is having some kind of an Earth Day event. They've asked a volunteer um, uh, to come, and we've got the trifold that folks worked on, and Diana helped out with that we can have, etc. We've got a UU event, which is on the twelfth. Mac knows about that. I guess David has done them in the past, so we need to get you guys talking and maybe um, do some coordination there. He had a, uh, David said that that talk that he gave to you, you years ago was how we got John on board. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's a, it's a, you know, all of these are publicity opportunities, but they're also potential recruitment Pretend, um, uh, op opportunities. And then the, the 11th, it's just also a Saturday, I would like um, to request that we have another work day, um, just, just if you could mark your calendars. Um, so, because there's always more stuff to do. You know, it's easy, th it's easy to do, so you have a tendency to think you can do it quickly, but mm -hmm. It takes longer than you think it's going to do. So, if you could mark those two days as a potential work day and um, make every effort to come. Where are each of these events? 
Well, the Ward 4 event is at Nanatuck, Nanatuck School. On Riverside Drive. The WHMP event is at the offices right. downtown. It, it's odd that the Ward 4 event would be at the Nanatuck School, because that's Ward 5. Yeah, we, I, yeah, we well, don't get that. Um, <laughs> Maybe Ward 4 UU event have any is at yeah. UU. Yeah, right. big enough place you need. Yeah. <coughs> for the work for event, I, yeah. I don't even know what the event is. Uh, okay. Does we anyone do have anything? Place. I'm sorry? We can do it at our place at, at Pathways. Is where we're for. Oh, that's for true. Ward 4? Yeah. We, we had one of the greatest garbage audits ever yeah. at Pathways. That was so much fun. There was like 100 people that showed wow, up. Wow, that's terrific. great. And we had like five garbage auditors that were there. Yeah. That's <laughs> great. Any, anyone have things to add to this that they're aware of? Um, I guess I was just going to say, you know, uh, I was contacted by the UUs. I know several people in here have connections with the UUs, and I, you know, if any of you would like to be in on this or would like to do it, I don't really feel like I have a stake in it. I would certainly do it, um, but just, just to say that, um, I started to put together some thoughts about what could be presented in a, a short presentation about our work. Um, I'd be happy to talk to anybody that wants to do it. Um, uh, also, I've been on I've been on WHMP before with Bill and Monty uh, for our other events. It's fun. If anybody else would like to do it, it's not like I'm tied into doing it myself. I think it'd be great for Susan to be in on this one. But uh, they've been very positive about our work and are very interested in in what we're up to. So. Uh, if other faces want to participate, well, or other voices, I should yes. say, then uh, that's fine. Yeah. So I guess that's, um, let's see, I'll open my, any other opening issues? Resources needed. Did, um, David, was anyone able to get in touch with you about that rolling cart that you thought you had? Oh, did, uh, did I thought there was a, I, I wanted to ask about that because I thought there was a note, Mac, was that from you that you guys found two rolling carts? We did. They're not completely up and running yet, but they're very, very good and, and will be. So, so you do want the one that I have or you don't need I, it? I, if you're not, if it's sitting around collecting dust, I would say, why not? Okay. Actually, anything with wheels at all at the moment? Okay. We, I mean, it's, we, it's big. Wheels. Like, what, what, how? Size? Uh, I would say uh, it's not quite as large as this table. We have several. Oh, is that this one? No, this that one. no, the brown one. Oh wow! Oh, that's geez. really big. It's big. Well, it's big. well, well I think it's storage. Yeah, no, <laughs> I think we should. Well, we should. We should try. That, that Rose says storage might be, might be an issue with it. Yeah, that would, um, but it might become a table. You know, it's a bin. It has a cloth. Oh, it's yes, a cloth right. thing on wheels, yeah. right? Yeah. Steel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ribs. Yeah, uh, kite from. Um, Putting in cl clothes to wash. Yeah, what webs yard is webs yard. Is it possible for us to look at it? Sure, just look down uh, the warehouse. Uh, uh, Alan or Mac or where, can you take warehouse? a look? Do you, uh, you know where the webs yarn store is, Alan? Yeah. Yeah, there's. Uh, we have the warehouse general. part of the webs yarn store. Do you know oh. the carts at the at the plant sale, the Rust School plant sale, that they have the, the most of those come from pathways. And, and so where so we have several. We have a lot. Both well, can I come look? Oh, yeah. um. Yeah. You should um, try to think if I can remember my employee's phone number. Uh, you have some two right carts. Yeah. Yeah. You know offering? yeah. Okay. Uh, why don't you call? We'll warning, so we can tell everybody. Uh, Dana <laughs> is one of our employees. Four one three nine two three one seven eight nine. Okay. Um. Some are under snow, so hopefully they'll be. Oh, somebody asked what they were for. So, so the there there are two things that I'm aware of, and you guys correct me if there's a third or a fourth. But one thing is just moving stuff around within the recenter, and the other piece is that we talked about having some mobile things that we could pull out of the recenter to have outside as display, as um, you know, look at this cool stuff we're getting, you know. Um, or as extra storage mm -hmm. and moving well. out of people's cars, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So, so that's what what we're talking about. Oh, okay, permanent ones. And um, should we talk about volunteer team or Peter? You want to talk about logo? 
Oh, do that quick. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, so we had the logo uh, contest, as you know, and we were able to get some really great options, and we uh, collected information and opinions from the committee here, and then the working group voted last week on which one that they thought was the best for the long term. And um, Peter's entry was the one that was um, was selected. Thank you, Peter. And, and part of the excitement about it is that the versatility, uh, that the, the RE can be used not only for the recenter, but for the reuse committee, for repair workshops, all sorts of stuff. So, Peter, you want to talk about uh, it? Many thanks to Peter Savioli for my years first to help me with my catalog 25 years ago. <clears throat> and was last minute, you know, as illustrator. Um, and we're both sort of thinking it'd be nice to form a team, have a team, like a design team, gradually. I don't know if I am, you could have Photoshop, but um, who's not here right now? Uh, and whose name I can change? Joan. Joan, Joan, thank you. Complete and hard name. Blank, you know. <laughs> also knows Illustrator, but so that and the idea this is to just give an idea. But so then we have a um, custom clip art file that we can all uh, access uh, for you know whatever publicity use. Um, the the final one is not the right. It's not the right actually. The right one. Where is it? Anyway, no, it wasn't on the PD. No. This has gone through so many iterations, but it can be put with anything, and I think uh, the wonderful world of re would be just a, a, a marketing, a <coughs> marketing tool because we can have repair, for instance, and pair suddenly when you put it in that context. It, I, I look at it as a new. So we have lots of stories here, and to me, publicity is stories. That's that's mm -hmm. what how I got free publicity because there was always a story at the time. Mm -hmm. And that gets for free. And so I, I suggest we look at whatever stories we can create here, personal and otherwise. So <laughs> we're gonna start using this. Diana's working on various um, publicity items, whether it's a, a Joan and Diana have drafted a press release and, and we're looking at putting together a advertisement for the reduce, reuse, recycle insert, that's the Earth Day insert that goes into the bulletin, the recorder, and the uh, Amherst Bulletin, Greenfield Recorder, and Hampshire Gazette. So we're going to start start mm -hmm. using this as soon as possible, and um, it's a great thing. And thank you to Peter and all the people who worked hard to submit, submit stuff by our Deadline. And they've all won memberships. Yes, <laughs> we yes we decided to give everybody who submitted a, a, a free membership. Until he gets a membership. Oh so. yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah. Well. <coughs> okay. What's all next? All right. Uh, little topic. Volunteer so we're talking volunteers. So, <coughs> um, who in this group? is volunteering. Diana and Mac, I know that you're going to be a part of it. Uh, Alan? And there's two different kinds of volunteers. We're looking for people who are going to be regular volunteers and anticipate being willing to commit to do that. And then there are the, are the people that we need to get off and running and will not necessarily rely on you for the long term at the recent. Well, I'll take both names. I'm really interested in people that are going to be uh, volunteers that are going to be dependable volunteers every Saturday. Um, so, uh, Alan, is, is that you? Are you going to be there on a regular basis? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what we established is that we would open at 8. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And that we'd be open until noon? To 11.30. Open to the public until 11.30. But for the volunteers' and purposes, 8 to noon? To noon yep. for volunteers, okay. yeah. So, in terms of that, Mac, you're going to be there for the duration, 8 to noon? Mm-hmm. Uh, Alan, is that interesting to you? Because we were thinking either <coughs> two-hour shifts or four-hour shifts. Oh, I, I would commit four hours. Uh -huh, hour. Okay. Well, and I Diana? Every Same. Yeah. I, okay. I don't want every Saturday, but right. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And it kind of be a second shift to candidate for the some you know spring and summer second shifts. So All right. 
for some of them again. What do you mean by second shift? 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Okay. I mean, I get suggested maybe you've heard this, that we have a kind of a, a shift supervisor position along with the other volunteers. That's where we sort of thought ourselves. Mm -hmm. we yeah, because we're, we're figuring we'll, we'll go at some point to our email list and see if we have folks that aren't on this committee that would be interested in committing, you know, maybe one Saturday a month or and something And David like can that. help with that kind of that's, yeah. that's what I'll do now. Yeah. Knowing yeah. that this is the nucleus. Yeah, I mean, in our discussions, I think we've, we've sort of talked about eventually having at least one person who's really knowledgeable about how everything works to be kind of a coordinator. And then we could have, we'd like to have, at least in the beginning, like maybe three other people who are perfectly willing to help <coughs> out in any way possible, but, you know, aren't, haven't been privy to all these conversations and will be learning on the job and in the training sessions that we have about how it's going to work. Well. In an ideal world, in my mind anyway, at least for the opening, it would be great if we could make up the core just from the nucleus. Yeah. Because we will learn what right. we need. There's a lot of learning curve going right? on. Yeah. So, I mean, we can do training beforehand, but we're not going to know really everything that we need to know. So that first yeah. opening date will really be very informative. Yeah. Are you on that list also then? Yes. Okay. As, a, as a regular or as a no. periodic? No. Oh. So as the a regulars, I just have Alan now today. Correct. And, uh, and Peter. Periodic as well. Okay. <coughs> and Rob. So, David, you are. I want to be there to help out at the at the beginning, is really, and then I'll do what I can after that. Anyone else that can help out on a semi-regular basis? David. Or occasionally. Sem semi. <laughs> occasionally. Nice to semi. Not occasionally. Regular. Well. <laughs> Yeah, I would be happy to help on occasion too. And and can you guys be available in April and and May to be a little heavier, heavier support if need be? I'm gone until April twentieth, so I won't be helping until okay. after this. Okay, but after, but after that, that you might be able to. Yes. <coughs> okay. After that. Yeah. <coughs> Great. All right. Um, anything else about the volunteer team? Bro? So I sort of made an outline. Are you going to follow up on, you're going to follow up on looking for volunteers and then we'll yes. go to those other volunteer yes. potential opportunities yep. like the Saturday paper and so on. The Saturday paper. They're, they always ask the volunteers. Oh. They have a volunteer they announcement. Opportunities for oh, volunteers. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll take care of that. And I, there's some other things on that. Well, maybe yeah. Um, but before we go to the public, no. I would recommend yes. that we go to our mailing list. Yeah, that's yeah, what David's no, going to do. Right, but I'm just right. saying, I just wanted to coordinate, make that linkage. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and if there are other places that promote volunteer opportunities, you have to let me know about them and I'll definitely. And just them. to be prepared, if we have a flood of people who want to volunteer, <clears throat> how are we going to select, who's, who's going to decide who? Well, well, had a, why don't we had worry about that when that yeah, happens? Right. <laughs> but I did have a questionnaire. Did you get that um, uh, spreadsheet that I sent around about volunteers? I can't remember if I sent it to you. I don't know. think so. Because it had like an application in there. Oh great, yeah, Art. I should get that. <clears throat> We can for decide. Application for volunteers. Yeah, I, I forget actually what all was in it now. I, I have it. a copy of it. Yeah. I can make a copy of it for you. I but have you, a hard copy. Right. So it's just mainly to, it's a way to make sure that they can do it specific times and what the hours are. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was just great. No, yeah. you did a great job. Right. Very, I'm not looking thorough. for that, but I'm just no, saying, no. No. let's not throw I'm that just, away. I know yeah. you're not looking for it, but it's an opportunity yeah. to, to <clears throat> give it. So thank, thank you and to her and all the people who've been working really hard to make this happen. It's really so exciting to see all the different skills and talents making this come to life. Okay. Uh, yes, Roger. Well, this is way out of my ballpark, but uh, I was wondering if there's a list of skills that you might put on the application that you would, you'd like to have. So that if you need to wean That's out, a great idea. you can put them on there. Mm -hmm. I remember there was a job description or not. It's been a while since I've right. done it. So there might have been some like that. Okay. I think it's great. Yep. And we can also, <coughs> sort of be also asking for you know, general 
people in general to be interested in what they're doing. So it doesn't have to be a specifically volunteer for a specific thing, but especially to capture the emails of people. I mean, to me, I think that's the best way of getting a, a good pool. Well, by asking for volunteers, it's, it's a great promotional opportunity for the recenter, right? So the more public you make it, mm -hmm. like, even if you're creating a waiting list of volunteers, it's, right. it's really worth <coughs> And down the line, it may not be just in the store. We could have people yeah. doing gardening or stuff on the outside. There may be all kinds of opportunities mm -hmm. for volunteer work. Um, you know, uh, when the National Yiddish Book Center started, they created a network of Zomlers. A Zomler in Yiddish <laughs> is a book collector. Yeah. And so they had people all over the world that were collecting books and then sending them to the National Yiddish Book Center. We could have a bunch of Zomlers, <laughs> collectors that bring stuff to the, uh, because you know, not That's everyone can idea. make the trip. This and book, is, speaking is, this of book which, is great for that. It, it's great, yeah. it's a great book. Speaking of which, we would like to have some things <coughs> in the recenter <laughs> when we open. <laughs> some of us on the working committee are gonna be bringing material, which is one of the things that needs to happen probably on the 11th and the 18th. Uh, preferably the 11th because it's also going to as people bring stuff in we all need to be looking at it and deciding well is this something that we should be taking or not so it's going to be a good exercise I would ask all of you if you have some material that you think fits the criteria that you would be willing to donate to the recenter bring it in and we'll we'll set up a certain day and let's Let's bring it in. We'll stock some of the shelves to show people what types of material that they'll be able to find at the recenter. Do we have a kind of final list? Because you and I had talked about that, and you said that you were going to add something. Yes, to I need to work on that. Because yep. I would love to see that because the arts organizations mm -hmm. that I come in contact with would <coughs> love to see that. Yeah, well, it's the, the detailed list. So the detailed yes, list technically detailed is really list. for us. But if, if somebody well, is interested in the detail, we can share it with them. Mm -hmm. It's just that we didn't want to overwhelm the public with this mm -hmm. long list of stuff. So they'll be able to have access to it. They'll be able to, you know, push a button and find it. But we don't want to have that as our only list. Well, I, I guess I don't necessarily envision sending it out to everyone in the fiber art group. But saying yeah. this is the kind of stuff. I mean, we have a meeting next week, so mm -hmm. I could say this is the kind of stuff we're collecting, bring it in, because they're always happy to do it, for instance. And I talk about it, you know, wherever I go, and people are saying, oh, yeah, I heard about that. Oh, yeah, I want to know more about it and all of that. Kind when of do they thing. meet next week? Next Friday. Yeah. And so what day is that? That what oh, number three? Oh, it's the, oh. Um, the 20th. 20th? Yeah. Okay. So. I will have it ready for you by then. Thank I was you. under the impression that the reuse center was like a capacity with things that have been stored there for, no? So we have a lot of room to bring stuff It in? just feels like a lot because we haven't set up yet. Uh -huh. So you have to like move it somewhere, but once we've set up. We yeah, we have, a, we have a storage area way on the left that the gatekeepers have over the winter continue to collect things and put in there and it's it's fairly full right now although it could be a bit more efficiently organized um, we don't really want stuff more stuff in the space now I think because we're still working on it but um, once we get the basic space set up and get it the painting finished and have it relatively clean then I I guess we can start to take stuff in. Do you think that? Do you think um, that by that. on the eleventh that would be a good day for people from the committee to bring stuff? Hmm. I do. Yeah, I think. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah, and I like okay, the so idea that we'll on. be talking about like. Absolutely. Is this we can do. hash it out. Yeah. I was just in my basement pulling stuff, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and um, I put some th I put some wild cards in there to just to mm -hmm. um, make discussion because there's some stuff you know maybe somebody will like it but is it going to be trash? Twilight Zone. That's right, the Twilight Zone. <laughs> I, uh, did you explain that last last week? Yeah. The I Twilight Zone. Remember. Well, uh, Mac and I were talking about um, that. There's, there's always going to be questions. We're this is a, a an ex, a, a, a work in progress, and there's, and it's going to all always be a moving target because even there are trends there uh, that that will come in and out of some. Somebody will be look. All of a sudden, people will be looking for, you know, egg beaters, or you know, I mean, there's going to be all sorts of stuff. So it's always going to be a moving target. We need to be on on task and on the ball with that. 
and there's some things that are going to be questionable and we're all going to have to make some judgment calls and Mac had a great concept of calling it um, the twilight zone that 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 area of it's not it's not a guaranteed that it's going to go out the door but it's worth Mm-hmm. talking about and and mm-hmm. potentially a try so it's it's one of the, it's in the twilight zone another concept that we talked about was adoptability that that um, what it's when you're telling somebody that you can't take something people tend to take things very personally when it's something that they have chosen to have in their home or chosen to wear etc that was one of the biggest lessons that I've learned uh, that I learned working at the Buffalo Exchange um, my biggest takeaway was when somebody has chosen to have it on their body or in their home, if you reject it, it's a, it can be perceived as a personal rejection. So one of the ways that we handled it at the Buffalo Exchange was we would say it's a style that isn't selling for us right now and because we're giving cash, we can't take the risk. Um, so from, the, from a recenter perspective, it's almost, it's adoptability. You know, it's like the adoption level, the, the adoption rate of these types of things are not very high right now. Um, uh, are not, it's not, you know, they're not, no one's adopting them. I mean, just the kind of the whole con- concept of people reclaiming or taking something and giving it a home. Mm-hmm. And, and if they're not doing that, then we can't take it. So. Yeah, I think for me, the tension is on the one hand, we're striving for zero waste, but on the other hand, we're also striving for creative reuse. And when, you know, you look at some of these things you post on the Facebook page, people are reusing things in ways that I never imagined. And so if I'm really hard-nosed about saying we can't take this and this, am I eliminating the possibility that someone else will come up with a, a creative reuse for it? You know, and that's, that's the line we're walking, I think. And I just feel like, you know, we are going to collect some donations, and um, if when we have fundraisers and whatnot, I think that we should think that part of the money that we earn, we may be some of our tipping fees, for because there's a learning curve here, and we may end up taking some things with a hope that don't get taken, and we have to pay to throw them away, and that's, that's part of the curve. And has there been a, a deadline established on how long something stays in the reuse center before it gets churned? <coughs> we could. When stuff comes in, tag it, <coughs> if it's something, especially in the twilight zone, um, with a date, code, time stamp, and uh, I feel it might be useful if anybody bringing something in that is questionable might want to fill out mm-hmm. a little tag. Yeah, we, need to <coughs> we need to work that out yeah. at the next meeting. Right. We've talked about that a couple times. We had kind of a month, right? A month yeah, review of mm-hmm. all inventory. You know, and, and the thing is, if it's only a few hours a week, you know, is a month even long enough? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so we, we can talk about mm-hmm. it. Um, and well, and also we've also talked about having a monthly kind of clean out Wednesday where we invite some of the end users and social service agencies and stuff to come in and take absolutely whatever they want. I mean, we can't promise that we'll give them every single egg beater we get, but on a certain Wednesday they can come in and take all of them if they want just to keep things moving. That'd be nice to have, develop a list of those groups. Yeah, yeah, we are doing. Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, yeah Max. Yeah, we're 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 developing the list of the groups, and we have two things to send them. We have a letter that explains this, and also the trifold that we've put together mm-hmm. that says basically how things are going to work. And um, so we're, we we will be contacting them and requesting things that they might want. And yeah, and, and in order to join, like in or- we we sort of decided that in order to join, an, or- an organization should get a sticker too and so they'll come down here they'll need to come down here and get a sticker applied to one vehicle and um, and then they'll they'll and they'll fill out a form basically that's, that indicates what they're looking for so that if we get that we will, as, as Susan said we're not going to say we'll put it aside for you in a special place but we'll be looking for it and if we and if, and if we get a surplus of it you know, we'll let you know, basically, but we're not going to pick up a phone every time something comes in that somebody's requested. Uh, it's basic, everything is basically going to be first come, first serve. And if they have something that they want, 
I'll use an egg beater again. If they if they say we really need egg beaters and we're going to take every egg beater working egg beater that you you have, then we might relax our rules for <coughs> egg beaters. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, for instance, uh, we're not taking textiles, but that because the nice. bag share program is is willing to take any bags that we collect, and we textiles. Will, we will we will collect. We'll have a box. For the bag share program, so so people can you know textiles, sewing machines. I mean, I've got their list. For instance, they mm -hmm. have a long list. The art garden really will take practically anything. Mm -hmm. So we can relax art. our yeah. our standards because they're promising to take mm -hmm. everything that we collect. Wait, I, think, oh, I was just going to say. I think mm -hmm. one of the things. Speaking of time, <coughs> we'll find out pretty quickly how efficient these connections are actually coming and getting this stuff mm -hmm. because there'll be some that say, oh I want it but then you know, you know come for three weeks or something. So I think this is a good weeding out for mm -hmm. waiting to it as well. Mm -hmm. But I was just thinking I like like the box of textiles idea. There might be a few like an egg beater box or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> for uh, you know people that want specific items. We don't have to say everything that goes into the box for them but once we get a few, they'll know they can come here. They don't have to look to the whole place. Mm -hmm. It's right mm -hmm. there. Oh, Rob. Uh, new topic. We're done with this. Mm -hmm. uh, new well, recenter topic or no, new topic no, altogether? No, new topic. Uh, it, when will the member? When will the, the stickers be ready? The stickers are. I, in the process of being ordered now. Okay. So we've, I, we've, uh, Deb and I are working with the Springfield label and tag, <coughs> and so we've we've gotten a price quote. We've uh, told them what we want to have. We're getting 500. No, it's too late to, to go with that. But um, next year, we're getting 500 of the tags for that are just recenter tags. Now the reason why we're not getting a whole lot is because people, some people will be buying just a regular um, transfer station sticker because it's not that much more expensive and it gives them access to a whole lot more services. So, so that we anticipate that some people will be buying the recenter sticker, some people will be buying the um, the the full transfer station. But they will be numbered, and we'll have 500 of them. They're going to be the, a reverse color of the ones that we usually have, and instead of Northampton recycles, it'll say Northampton recenter. But other than that, it'll look pretty similar. And oh, and it'll have our hours on the back, Saturday on the back. And we didn't mention this at Monday's meeting, but that might be something to go and add. The ad in the uh, oh about the recycling the issue stickers available blank. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's a good point. Thank blank? you. Blank because I don't. She doesn't know the answer. Oh, okay. when the stickers will be available. Yeah, th you know, unfortunately, it takes longer than you'd think because the label c c organization has to print them, send them out to somebody else to have them uh, stamped sequentially, and then they have to print the back afterwards. So it, it's, it's a little mm -hmm. convoluted. Okay. <coughs> Anything else? Um, I was going to say, Go ahead. yeah, we had a, a meeting with the gatekeepers since since mm -hmm. our last mm -hmm. meeting here, and uh, I think it went very well. Yep. Um, Good conversation. They're very supportive. Who, um, how many were all the gatekeepers we there? We had all the gatekeepers wow. there, including Deb was there. Uh -huh. so, right. Um, how many gatekeepers are there? Four. So the four so gatekeepers from the uh, from old the, landfill. From the landfill. Right. Plus Deb. So plus there were five people out yeah. there with uh -huh. Peter Mack and I. And and they're very supportive. Um, um, the only concern they had was to make sure that uh, really that as people uh, arrived that they're still sort of in charge at the gate and they didn't want any you know, issues of conflict. That a no, no, we can take that. A volunteer <laughs> might, might suggest, you know, so it, it's, it's, it'll be a learning curve about how to process intake a little bit. and, and um, uh, so we need to be very respectful of that, I think, in that process. Is, is there any benefit to speaking to the gatekeepers 
at the transfer station here because of things that they may see that are coming in? Well, they did ask that question, we, and one, one of the questions I guess we have to answer is whether um, people would be able to donate here to have it taken mm -hmm. out there. In our own internal discussion, we thought that was not the wisest move. We'd like to encourage people to get out there. But there may be some exceptions to that rule, particularly for people yeah. who might not be able to get out there mm -hmm. at all. And maybe we need to talk about <coughs> a drop-off area here. Because uh, I'd be available on a regular basis to make that, you know, use the van mm -hmm. from Berkshire yeah. Natural. The problem is the drop-off. I mean, if we're not having screening, it could easily become mm -hmm. a junk a junk jumble and and then then we're gonna have to pay to have it thrown away. There so. already is a table here. Right. Mm -hmm. but, but that gets stuff on but it. In so a form, but a formal drop off yeah. is I mean I, I would I would recommend that we put it in the um, <coughs> after we open things to look look into and make uh, see if we can make it happen. I, I don't think it's good to add it to our list before we open. Mm -hmm. Two, at least two of the gatekeepers here also work. I mean, Tom works here, and uh, and Sue works here too. Right. I don't know mm. about the others. So, and Sue yesterday brought us something that had been left here. <laughs> she brought it out mm -hmm. to us out there, a bulletin board. Yeah. Oh, nice. um, so there's some communication back and forth there. Right. And interestingly, Sue told me that you know basically they they allow people to put stuff on the table over there, and then basically if it's not taken at the end of the day, it goes in the dumpster. Sure. So. Um, mm -hmm. So there is some wiggle room there, you know, in terms of uh, all that. I'm just thinking something. Uh, why we need a sign out here to announce as soon as possible mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. announce the coming of the mm -hmm. center. Mm -hmm. Well, we need some posters to go. Yeah. Well, we, now that we have our logo, our we can make those. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I uh, before I leave, which is next Wednesday, I'll send out. Uh, I can send out the latest version of the operation manual in case people would like to look that over and, and uh, make any suggestions about that. It hasn't changed a whole lot since the last time I've sent it out, but there are some changes in it. Um. <coughs> and the letter that you worked on and, and the trifle, the final versions, mm -hmm. we'll see those. The, oh, yeah. The, yeah. the end user yeah. letter? Yeah. Yeah. Although, if we want to, I mean, it's it's when do we want to start sending it out? I mean, if 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 I if if I'm going to send it out before I leave, I need to probably do that as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But if if other if if I I can leave that well, with no, I mean the end you the trifold doesn't have to be in its trifold form. It can go out as is mm -hmm. to your group. Right. You know, it's just because it's not in a trifold form yet. Right. All the information is there. Right. So. Right. The uh, one that. thing I would caution is that we we direct people to the website for a detailed list and the detailed list isn't out there yet. So oh, okay. if, you, if you mail those out, we can talk about this afterwards, okay. but if you mail them out we might want to either delete that or, or put a note. Okay, can we go over your calendar, Susan? Mm -hmm. um, just because I want to know who's getting involved with what. The workday, everyone understands that, but who's <laughs> going to do the Unitarian Church event? And what is expected to be presented? Um, I I will go and um, I, r I wrote back to them after I was invited and said how long should I expect to be talking for and um, they haven't written back to me yet but it's a p apparently it's a panel with a bunch of other people so I see three or four other people from Grove Food Northampton and a couple of several other organizations uh -huh. so it's not just completely focused on the recenter uh huh okay uh, Rob um, I'm working on the city council presentation. And I, I figured that once we get, I'm, my goal for that is um, April 1st, and once we get that put together, then that can be whether or not um, that you use a PowerPoint presentation, the handout there can be the outline for any presentation or any, any publicity that's right. needed. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just waiting for other people to give me stuff. So who is making me, the presentation? Me, waiting for me. To the city and, and me. Photos, you, you mean. You said you would. Uh, I'm happy to. I yeah. wasn't counting on it, but. Uh, okay. Well, which one? In, in all the city, city council. council. No, in you, you'd volunteered. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> you'd volunteered. You'd volunteered. Volunteered. You were sleeping. And what time? Are you? No, as, as long as I have the yeah, PowerPoint, I'll, I'll be yeah. very comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And, and you'll be part of all that email. I'm just. What, what okay. time are these things? 
I don't know. I don't know if it's part of public. I don't know if it's part of public speak out or if it's actually scheduled. And I know you had a lot of emails with Bill, and I don't remember if the timing was part of that. Whether it was before, whether it was a formal part of the it, city council meeting, it or it's it not. Is. It's not public comment. Excellent. So then it's it's like there. 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, so it's between yeah. what times does that meeting start? Seven, Seven o'clock. Seven, Seven yeah. to yeah. nine. So it can go late though, right? Seven to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine. yeah, but it will be scheduled at a specific time. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm happy to make that presentation. Yeah. I just wasn't yeah. clear yeah. on that. And and a couple of us are, are planning to be there. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. And Matt, do you need anyone to do the WHMP thing with you? Um. You know, tentatively, it's Susan and myself. Susan and but you. Okay, that's, someone that's great. His burning desire to go and be on the radio, I'd be glad to defer to them. <laughs> um, I think you have three. Uh, and the Ward 4 it's event? crowded in the studio. The Ward 4 event at Nonatuck School? Uh, what, what is expected at yeah. the Ward 4 event? Alan, no did school? you say you were I think um, I had the. Uh, conflict. I had the invite here. I have here. a conflict. Uh, oh, right, okay. You were in Ward 4, and so I, mean, I think that's where that your name came up. Okay. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you also in Ward 4? Yeah. Are you have any interest in this? Well, I work, and I never know when I get home on, on uh -huh. Tuesday. So. Okay. But the space can still be available okay. if I'm out there. Right. Well, th I think they already have their event set, and we're just joining them. For, we're oh, not okay. creating oh, the right. event. Yeah, oh, it was okay. um, gotcha. somebody from the Center for Eco Technology had uh, contacted me. I'm looking for it here. Here it is. Uh, Leah Letorno, I wanted to reach out to you about the Zabria Swap Shop. I work with the Center for Eco Technology in Florence. We've been working with Ward 4 to put on an Earth Day event with community resources and information on what residents in Ward 4 in Northampton can be doing to be more environmentally conscious. I was hoping one or two of the volunteers on your team might be interested in participating in the event to let people know about the store <coughs> and what they can look forward to when it opens. The event is going to be held on April 14th at Nonatuck School. Um, yeah. So that's she what doesn't I know. say what time. Does she, she say what time? She <laughs> does not say what time. So it sounds like a, a, a few minute presentation. Likely. Or, or uh, tables. We, we also have the trifold. Mm -hmm. Okay, is anyone willing to do that? Tuesdays are terrible for me, so I, I can't yeah, do I'm that. willing to. I mean, I'll be doing it with the UUs and whatnot, and yeah. doing it on the radio. And <laughs> blah, 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 Mac is the, the voice. Uh, <laughs> that'll be your prep for your radio show. The yeah. next right, morning, that's, that's what I was thinking, too. Can you uh, be in touch with Leah? I, I had, uh, we've kind of um, been playing phone tag, and so I'll make a photocopy of this for you yeah. before we go, yeah. and if you can just follow up with her, yeah. that would be helpful. Thank you. Mac has a very credible radio voice. Yeah, Mac's great. <laughs> You're right. Uh, and the press conference, Susan, does anyone from here need to be there? Uh, I think everybody mm -hmm. should plan to be there, right? It, uh, we, I, it, it's an opportunity. I mean, if this is what this group has been working towards for a long time. Uh, we're going to have press there. We hope the mayor will be able to attend. We can wear, what time we can wear is it? reuse t-shirts. Yes. Well, it's going to be <laughs> during the opening, um, I would say maybe 10 to 10 to 11 or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's 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 going to be on a Wednesday, so we want to have it while the transfer station is open. We want to have a, a little time beforehand to set things up. So I would say maybe ten. Mm -hmm. Ten to eleven. Ten to and um, <coughs> thinking of which to for the publicity for that to get as much uh, press as possible. I have a list from our luminarian, but I'm happy to forward whoever would be in charge of mm -hmm. MS or not. <coughs> and if any of the other of us have other um, press organizations of Yeah, we have a, a yeah, lot yeah, of them collected yeah. already. Yeah. Oh. I have I have yours for instance, but already too. So we have we have like three or four lists. Did I send you one? I think so. Oh. Can I see a show of hands <coughs> of who anticipates being there at the press conference? Okay, good. So that'll be a good showing. Great. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else about the recenter? <coughs> we were out there working yesterday. Great, <laughs> good for you. Yeah, it was a beautiful day. Yeah. The publicity status. Is uh, publicity status. Did we kind of go it's in over? In progress. It? Covered it. Okay. Um. All right. 2015 pop-up events. 
Yes. Were there events that weren't claimed? Yes, there were events that weren't claimed, and I just, uh, you know, before I send out the final press release telling everybody that we're going to do these things, we did. I just wanted to check a couple things out. I also have a date change. Um, I I thought that the fifth was the date that the, the ski fifth of swap. December. Mm -hmm. I thought the 5th of December was the date the ski swap was not going to launch, but it turns out I looked historically and it looks like it is the first Saturday of December oh, that they want. So now we're else. looking at December 12th. I and think. when is Hanukkah? Do you remember, Susan? I think it's before the 12th, unfortunately. Um, it's in my calendar. Yeah, does it say in your calendar? I mean, I was. Hanukkah is. Seven of seven. Yeah. Well, so, and then the previous, if you look backwards, the problem is, if we want to have it at Smith Volk, they have a craft sale. That's the Smith Volk craft sale. And that's their baby. <coughs> so they get, they get first pick on the dates. And they don't have a date set for that yet. But it's usually after or around Thanksgiving. Then we have the Lions Club Ski and Sail Ski Swap, which we've had experience before. We don't want to go there mm -hmm. um, on that date unless we have it at an alternate site. So um, the Thanksgiving is the weekend of the 26th. And then right next, the, the next weekend is this potentially the Ski and Sail Swap. So unless we had it on the 21st of November, we could have the toy, swap, toy exchange on the 21st of November, assuming, assuming that the craft sale is not that weekend. But the craft sale might be that weekend. <coughs> in which case, we'd be looking at the 14th of November. December. No, we're in oh. November now, if we're trying to do it before oh, Hanukkah. I mean, I, you know, I, I'd like to do it before Hanukkah, and I'm just not sure that it's going to be possible this year. If you're going to do it at Smith Folk. If we're going to do it at Smith Folk. And one additional factor there is if there is a toy option, it would have to be at Smith Folk because that's where <coughs> you know, it would work there. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's where he does his auction, New England auctions. Right. And, and the only, the uh, I mean, so what's important is, I, I guess we don't have to put the final date on the announcement. We can say December to be announced. It would be nice to have a date, and um, but we've got uh, you know a potential is the senior center, although they have a holiday fair too, and they obviously get first pick of their dates, and I don't know that that's been set their date. Um, it's also on the smaller side; it doesn't have the the potential to expand. If there's another site that we haven't thought of. John, did you have? Well, if you're really trying to convolute this whole thing around Hanukkah, just my experience is that I mean, eight days, and it starts the seventh, it goes to the fifteenth. And I remember my family, the big presents were the last night, <laughs> which would put it at the fifteenth. So, so it's, you're it still doesn't in, exclude. Yeah, that's true. So you still that's have true. two days of Hanukkah at the twelfth. That's true. That's true. So are is every are you are people okay with this? Do we have more than? A couple of Jewish people in the <laughs> audience that you can, that you can. Um, I would just say presents aren't to. really supposed to be part of the celebration. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> now you don't. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I want to be sensitive to that, yeah. and um, the timing with the constraints we have is difficult. Right. Uh, yeah, I certainly open to the 12. Sure. I mean, I I always like looking at other. Uh, places to have other locations. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so that's that's the only thing. But the date is fine. What about Nanatuck? I mean, they'd rent it, but I don't, I don't know. Nanatuck is large enough. No, we, you know, that the original toy swap was at Nanatuck. Oh, uh, it was just for Bay State. Okay. And uh, it was it had nothing to do with this group. Uh -huh. It was uh, Mary Clark, who was a part of this group, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Patsy Kaufman, and uh, there's another woman involved. And it was great. It was really fantastic, but it was really crowded. In their gym. Mm -hmm. In the that gym, gym, yeah. And that, yeah. The, on, on the ground floor. Yeah. Roger, you were going to say something? I was just going to say, you know, it's a good way to pick up those last minute, those last few day presents that you 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't get the first couple of days. Well, it, it, I feel better at least that some of Hanukkah, will be, <laughs> uh, you know, that, that, that makes me feel a little better about it. I was really pleased with the timing for this last year because it worked out beautifully. Okay, so we're going to go for Smith Boak for the 12th. Okay, now what about other the leadership 12, that you're uh, looking for December? December. December. Uh, Susan? Um, well, so we don't have anyone down for the June sixth, uh, the June sixth recycling rally. That was going to be bulky, rigid plastic and styrofoam. So we're lo just looking for a kind of lead volunteer, like we've had in the past. What have we called them? <laughs> coordinator. Volunteer court. Yeah, yeah. A co event coordinator for that event. Well, I would do it. I just I really want more help understanding how to deal with the plastics because that just was I'll, like a I'll be there. Mess. I'll be there. Okay. Okay, and John. Thank you, John. That's great. Them. And then the other one we don't have a volunteer uh, event coordinator for is the toy swap. Mac is putting his energy into the recenter and he doesn't feel that he can commit at this time to to that event again this year. So it's not he's not saying he isn't going to do it. We can have our fingers crossed, but that that what would be best is if somebody else could step in and say, "I'll I'll be on the horn for that." Peter, we were sort of working. Most of it, but <coughs> uh -huh. I mean, you you'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all these spokespeople here. Do you know? <laughs> Thank you for being such a. <laughs> so, Peter, Not, no thanks. Peter, your name's going down. <laughs> yes, Peter's your name was going down. Yeah. All right, okay. Peter. Nice help. Great. That's it. Uh, we need the date for the next meeting. The date for the next meeting should be the 9th, which is good for timing for some of this stuff. Does that work? Mm -hmm. I will be here, but... So the 9th of April. Yeah. Yeah, I won't be here. So you told the kids. I won't be here. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Wow. Starting to sound bad. Yeah. <coughs> What about the 16th? <laughs> what about the 16th? Mm -hmm. uh, the 16th is the city council presentation that would work for me. Yeah. I won't be here. I'm, I'm, you're still not going to be here, but you could come. I'll be here. I'll Can be you here. come on the 16th? Is it Thursday? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'll, I'll be here. Do we want to do that? That's good. Okay. good. I think it's a good idea. April 16th. I think more people is better than mm -hmm. the date. Next meeting. Great. So we need a minutes person. Oh, okay. Oh, we need, yeah, minutes. Uh, well, next to new business, Susan, there's written new chair, CPW. I wanted to talk about that. Um, so uh, Terry Colhane, as, as I announced at the last meeting, resigned from the uh, Commission on Public Works and... Um, um, a great loss. Yes. And uh, Mike Parsons will be the new chair for the... Um, Commission. He's been he's an engineer, and he's been on the commission for um, <clears throat> for four years. He came before you, right? Yes. And and you've been on three years. Five. Well, four five. and a half or five. Okay, so he can't. So yeah, so five years. And he's come. He's made great contributions, and he's on a lot of the right. advisory committees as well. Great. Any other new business, Susan? Well, I just wanted to say, is somebody willing to commit to taking minutes in April? I can do that if nobody else will. <laughs> 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 right. You're on the horn, Diana. Not, and if she doesn't, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Great. Thank you, everybody. Uh, be late. Everyone okay to adjourn? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you.